Don't flop to the test number seven. It's your boy Ur, as always, here at my man Chronicle. It's his event. I've come here to fucking host and support because I love Manchester. I love fucking battling, man. This is Don't Flop to the Test Seven. Times change quarterfinals. This is a non times change battle. One of the best two on two matches I've had all year. Shout out ESM Clothing, uh, Hats and Kicks, as well as Refuel Store in Soho, London, as well. I'm going to let Kron say he's on the left. On the, on the left, representing Manchester, these guys paved the way for Don't Flop to get onto the BBC Three, yeah. so make some noise for these guys. Representing Manchester, Eddie P and Frisco, man. And repping that West Yorkshire, man. You see them both? The most popular new And someone's been battling for a while. We got Matt and Lucy. Man, these are four viewed people battling it out. This is a classic about to happen. Shout out everybody paid to see this shit. I got in free, I can't fucking wait. You know what I mean? Right, they won the flip. It's on Eddie P and Frisco in 90 seconds, whenever you want. Let's go. Right, yo, Matt, hold me. You look like a crackhead, Moby. And Luna's left him over, he's falling apart slowly. And you need to tell your mother not to phone me. Because I swear, last time that's some dark shit she told me. <laughs> His mum's left nip looks like a cleft lip. <laughs> and his insider swigging dad looks like Rapsy Nesbitt's been dragged through a cesspit and force fed infected Nesquik until his head looks <laughs> Your mum can keep getting a bud on tick, keep getting in more debt, but eventually I'll bend it over and fuck her up fun with cars, yeah? <laughs> I'll price your mum's pussy open with a gherkin and push it into this really fucking hate <laughs> Stand back, chuck glass and dirty. And I'll come over, square a bit of terps in. And then it's <laughs> a subject to your mum, you take control. I'm not surprised she's creeping though. She give me bucks for a bacon roll and got left with gaping home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Regaping batter, you've got weak genetics. Everyone in your family's either going bald, going blind, or a straight up diabetic. So I've lost my lower limbs, I'm not bound on prosthetics. Either eat fruit, eat veg, hit gym, or get healthier. It's right about now, brother. He's looking like Tom Hanks in the final scenes of Streets of Philadelphia. <laughs> Sucking out a train spot and that's got rotten, then suck the fart out of the bottom of Doc Cotton. Your mother, my star's side have been considerably sharper, mate, and I'm finding your monotone style really hard to rate. It's making me want to drag your face down from a lava leak and laugh when your face starts melting apart at an alarming rate. But do not. It deserves a mention. You've got good lyrics, flows, and projection, but you got a bit of a this in it. And that's not. <laughs> And then a cheese grate in a flat, served him a rum and eat him a relaxer, you're getting beat and unslapped. Time, that's time. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. 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 Right. It's on lunacy and matter. So, oh, let's fucking go. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, yo. Yo, yo, give me the drums and the grimy bass, big up to the ravers inside the place. Hold on, what the fuck is this, 1998? This D&B hype been dead for years, so make noise for what comes next. Right now we're ending this drum and bass faggot's dreams. Dubstep. You got a... You got You got a big old chin and a bulbous nose that looks like a limp dick. With that hair colour and complexion, you look like a lit spliff. Why the fuck do gingers smell like piss and biscuits? <laughs> and stop saying you're a bad man, you know you are, then petty bars will not suffice. The best flip you ever had was, I know you are, you shred you are, but what am I? <laughs> Clueless, stupid, useless bastard. Loving getting goosed in cabbage. There's no way you could manage one day without watching human traffic. And, so <laughs> and, and saying shit like, yo, it's like they took our lives and put it in front of movie cameras. <laughs> and you could handle the drugs in your hair, dear, but you look fucked now, Frisco. All that spunk and ecstasy has give you come down syndrome. <laughs> about drugs a lot but this is where the fun will stop because I'm not talking pills when I say you two are getting double dropped. <laughs> Yo, Balski! Balski, would you battle this fag? And he was like, giggity go for a piggity pull. <laughs> I thought he was taking, I love that. I thought he was taking yeah. the piss out of you. So I went on YouTube, so I went on YouTube and I checked out his tracks and it sounded like dibbity dibbity too. <laughs> you tell little girls that your hair colour is Moulin Rouge. <laughs> when it's a two 
the one too. The fresh chisel over a new spoon to use. And the rest of your time is spent cotching in the dark, concocting shitty bars, because Frisco keeps you locked up in the yard. And once a week, for a lovely treat, he takes you on a shopping trip to Spa for a copy of the star. <laughs> Mum in the head with steel toe caps, <laughs> grabbing nipples like coat racks and a cheese grated fanny with no flaps. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use a scalpel to surgically remove your mum's clit off. Don't worry about her nipples, they've already been bit off by like, a <laughs> mate squatting over her face having a shit off. <laughs> <laughs> You should come and join the A-team But Matt, you need to snap out of this dog hot daydream Get yourself back to these where you could be using nipples in spray cream And hang around a fairly fucking gay scene <laughs> <laughs> I've been these, everyone eats tin peas The houses are appalling Matt doesn't live in a gap, he lives in all in floor covered with cheat of tarpaulin <laughs> Stop it! I've heard you hang around takeaways with your still skin single in your own plastic fork in your pocket. <laughs> Last night you locked his mum with a punter in walking closet. Who's that? Fucking hell, mum, fix up, man. He's a really dirty bloke. I know he is, son, but times is hard and dirty naughty is dirty naughty. <laughs> Plus she's got a peg leg with a wheel that squeaks. <laughs> if it comes to deadlock, I'ma put your gran in a headlock and force feed her eggnog. Yo. And when Matt is battling, he likes to get all deep and personal. Well, there's something deep and personal. You're going bald and that shit's impervasable. <laughs> I don't know if I want to publish and ask it, but after this, I'd really love to pick, pick your head and then wax it. I know, and Luna, I know I don't know you, but if I you're a bear, yo, is it right if one of the kids takes that thing out your ear and just swings off your earlock? <laughs> You got Tiggy Cox and your mum and dad's can't afford the Digi Box. I like that these guys are both infested with chicken box and after rift off Canal Street looking, looking up, up licking Cox. Cox. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm tired>. <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Right. Yo, people, yo. Shut the fuck out. Yes, yo. Let me see if Matt has turned. This is going, Yo. <laughs> Yo, you pussies wear matching rings as a symbol of abstinence. <laughs> and say no hetero when you mention minges by accident. <laughs> Yo, when you took a vow to sell a pussy, your mum took a vow to sell a pussy. <laughs> But she don't get much because it's balding and ginger, there's mold on a sphincter and a funny fart smell like gold of Virginia. <laughs> it's not nice. And your mum might be a cougar fan, but trust, she's got a gruesome flange. It stinks like a sewage plant and it's seen more viruses than a broke movie fan's computer has. Yo. And you were on BBC, but not because of your battles or your rhymes, it's because you poured vodka into your pupils for the cameras on that night. Yo. They took you to the doctors. You've never been more embarrassed in your life. They said it don't go in your bloodstream, it just damages your eyes. <laughs> you stood a lot to the bitch like that was a surprise. <laughs> you couldn't be more of a spastic if you tried. <laughs> There's no way you're fucking with Luna Rheumatological. You put liquor shots in your eye, man. That is horrible. The next time you decide to splash your optical with a brandy shot or two up on a rapid rocky move and turn the shot glass into a shattered monocle. Yeah. And your blindness is the reason... Yo, shut the fuck up. Yo, shut up in the back. Shut Yo. Up. And your blindness is the reason your bars are irrelevant. Because you were gobsmacked when a second ago you realised that we're not black men. Yo, don't use your contact lenses as a shot glass then. <laughs> And you need to send a thank you letter to the BBC editor because the shit you left out of that documentary was even sketchier. You two giving each other Hennessy enemas on a regular. <laughs> Yo, listen. Frisco and Edward call themselves the base invaders when they're ripping their sets up. But you faggots should just combine your names like Jedwood because you're Fedwood on a regs, bro. <laughs> Fuck your whole life, Frisco. On weekdays you win Eddie run a mobile disco. Doing weddings for some old white rich folk. Performing drum and bass renditions of old Motorola star ringtones. Fuck, any <laughs> Fuck anyone who thinks these faggots can beat Matter and me. I'll climb stack bullet naked up your family tree and drag my balls across the face of every slag that I meet. <laughs> Back, back, back. Whoa! <laughs> right. So, Let's go! Right. Woo! Jeez! <laughs>
We're going to do this to our <laughs> Shout out both teams, it's the final round, let's go. Yo, let's get it real. These two Yorkshire puddings won't mash up the mix. <laughs> Just a couple of country hicks from out in the six that suck on dicks for Spudnik ticks. <laughs> Me and Frisco are pillars of the community. We're down with the kids. These guys are pedos in the community. They go down on the kids. <laughs> I saw your mum and the BBC in the riots the other night. It's quite a fight, look right, I actually felt tight. She was trying to make a flamethrower set in a fart tonight. <laughs> Chucked in a van on Schwein. No, don't let Lewis one play like that. You ain't no fool. She insinuated the Bradford bias a few years ago. She went down and kicked it old school. <laughs> Yo, Matt, I'll prepare to get angry because I fucked every single female member in your family. And Lou, I feel like a really horrible bugger because at the moment I'm cheating on your mum with your mum's mother. What? Your mum's mother? Lewis Brown is mum's mother. I'm supposed to be her one and only lover. She's playing us off each other. We'll make the bitch suffer. You stick a mint in a grill and you crack her head off cooker. <laughs> And she's on a boat, then I'll shove her shit in the throat and right before I leave I'll take a piss in her coat. <laughs> Both of you need to put the child porn down and you need to get over that eye of the storm crown. And Luna after this, get on some keen bitches, but first up your low bar bro, cause it needs stitches. <laughs> I mean, don't try claim your role with that low, I don't think so. You ain't blagging me bro, you're blatantly an emo, hip hop's your alter ego. And my looks like a pedo that's going through chemo. <laughs> I've been wrecking real hip hop, everyone else just forgot, right? Rap. Stop that. I'll strangle you with the elastic from my job shack and get Luna's mum to give you cock slap after cock slap. <laughs> Yo, what's it called? Matt's going bald! <laughs> <laughs> you live in your nan's attic and finger a back passage while this little whack faggot is filming it and wanking. <laughs> and I reckon both of you two could fit into that chasm because shit your nan's assholes as big as the Grand Canyon. Your delivery lacks passion, you're ginger and that's tragic. You're thinking you're fantastic, you're tripping, you've yammed acid. Cause that don't add up like you skipped all your maths classes. This is lyrical shit, stick to your bibbidi bap bap in. <laughs> My level of brain training method is painstaking. You just make irrelevant gay statements, get a couple cheap laughs and reckon it's plain sailing. I saw your last two on two. I know your tactics and I can counteract them. You only beat them on crowd reactions because money heads hate scouser accents. That's why you don't battle unless it's in your hometown and you brought your own crowd or ride your dick when you spit filler for a fucking all round. I gave your girl a driving lesson. <laughs> The gear stick was my erection. <laughs> we didn't need no sat nav because I gave her all the right directions. <laughs> I gave your girl a spa treatment. In a body massage with a hard penis. Cucumber slices in her eyes, a soothing facial mask was Mark Seaman. Yeah. It's such a treacherous journey through your mother's absurdly huge cervix you had to learn to walk before the bitch gave birth to you. <laughs> Vaginal cavity is like Wonderland. Every week she fucks about a hundred man. I was fisting that bitch the other day and I'm sure somebody shook my hand. <laughs> the speakers. Now nah, let me adjust it and tweak it. He's unplugging the speakers and fucking the speakers. And speaking of speakers, you're a guest speaker at classes in school. Like kids, don't do drugs. This could happen to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you got that bagged swag. You look like you need a good bath or shower. But to be fair, you look like you haven't touched crack in hours. <laughs> on tracks and spit in patois like you're a Rastafarian. <laughs> and you look like Abid Marian after a bag of heroin. <laughs> yeah, we just had a matter in lunacy against Eddie Lee and Frisco. I just want to say before I can get check out all their music, you know, check out defensive style and that's matters crew, just check their music and you've got bass invaders if you like a bit of drum and bass from Eddie P and Frisco. We got Benny P and Frisco with the whole BBC thing, you know, they really open and don't fuck them to a lot of fans just want to get off my chest straight away. That being said, I do think that Matter and Luna C uh, got the edge on that, I gave them the decision. I think there was nothing at all wrong with Benny P and Frisco, they were consistent, they didn't flop at all, they kept it going, but I just think, I, you saw 
the footage, just saw Lunacy absolutely mounting it. You saw Matt killing it. Um, and I try my hardest not to let crowd reaction uh, like blur my decision because I think you know people react differently to different lines. But a lot of the references like I didn't get like TV references and film references and like in culture in that respect. So kind of had to let that take over for me. But I think Matter and Lunacy just uh, they were consistent. All four consistent all the way through. Matter and Lunacy just killed it, especially that last round. Done. Done. No, it's ET here. Uh, <laughs> Manchester for times change. Um, H1. It's from. <laughs> biggest dick in the flop right now. You get me, bro? Like, you get me? <laughs> no, literally. Um, no, um, for me, about. Uh, man, Frisco and Eddie P, they were sick, man, like, yeah, but shit, like, it, was, it was a tough battle, it was a tough battle, <laughs> shit, Looney C, man, I tell you what, that guy, he is up and coming on another level, and uh, uh, shit, the whole battle was ridiculous, Matt killed it as well, for me, uh, Looney C and, uh, and Matt, uh, big up, like, it's a hard battle, but that's my choice, sticking with it, safe. Oh, yo, big up to Frisco and Eddie, it was sick, but Matt and Lunacy was different levels on that battle, they both killed it, like, Luna especially smashed out the whole battle, so, get that one to Lunacy and Matt, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to get from HitmonKings.com, um, I've just judged the Frisco and Eddie versus Luna battle in 2 2 uh, incredible battle from both teams came with absolute fire, it was a real comedy battle, um, I had to give it to them to see a battle in the end, it was just that little bit more, the crowd reaction, obviously, swim up a tiny bit as well. Um, and overall, Lunacy is a guy to watch out for. I say it all the time. Lunacy has a good feeling.